Hi, Aries. Happy January. I hope you've had a wonderful holiday, and I hope you have a wonderful January. Okay. Here we go. Um, put a question in your mind what you're showing up to this reading for. I want to throw some dice here, especially for your reading, because your cards are a little strong here, and I, they're not going to resonate for everyone. So check your someone arising. Um, but I, I, I think we'll get more answers out of this. So, so put a question in your mind, what you're showing up to this reading for. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Just bear with me one minute while I pull them together. Okay. Okay, this is kind of, it, it falls in alignment with what I was was thinking here. Okay. So our first dice that we have is Aphrodite. Okay. And that speaks of uh, love, intimacy, uh sex, relationships, romantic. I think it's kicked up a notch, though, here in your reading, which was why I wanted to throw these, too. Um, new start or a new idea. Okay, I think what's going on here This is something that, and your other dice come in too, they, they speak of your, your, my concern here too is that you're too, this is too, um, I think you're, you're either, uh, kind of acting out a fantasy, like, literally playing the role, playing, playing it out, um, or your partner is doing that. There's, there's something here surrounding money too. So again, your message is coming in where I think as far as your career goes, um, you've got to focus on that and you've, you've got to, there's something about your reputation, too. I think all eyes are going to be on you, um, maybe in your job arena. Maybe you do something where you're actually, you know, on television or something that has a, a you know, like TV media would be there, something like that, right? Um, you do something where you're in the public eye, and if you're not, you need to be aware that people are watching what you're doing. So be aware of that. Um, I think your reputation for something I keep hearing is, is on the line here. So I can't tell if you're involved in something um, that may tarnish that in some way, if someone um, is trying to pull you in that direction, or if you've got someone in your family um, that's doing that or... or uh, there's just a strong air through here of home, family life, and your career, right? It's kind of like your fourth house, tenth house are lit up here. So, you know, you, you may, there may be a strong overbearing. I also feel that there's someone who, I'm not going to use the word strong holding you, but I think that you're either strongly affected by the upbringing that you have or you have a partner or someone very strong-handed on the work arena that is 
jerking you around. So either way, you're really being asked to call in for divine guidance here and realize that it may be whispering to you, but you need to hear it because you, I think you may be getting yourself into some kind of predicament here. Be very careful. We come in with these three cards, for, and, and I'm pulling them together, and I don't even know why, in all honesty. You come in with the energy of the Knight of Coins, okay? Right behind that is the Six of Cups, and then you've got the Judgment card. Okay, these are the energies coming in. They speak very, very loudly of... It takes time to build trust, so don't jump into something that you're not fully aware of yet, okay? The Knight of Coins in here is, is just saying be very careful of the contracts that you sign, the things you're being involved with, and the Six of Cups in here is really just saying it takes time to really trust someone. This may be something, too, that is... Um, is com going through your home sector, okay? Um, and the judgment card is is kind of just a wake up call. We don't have the tower card in here, um, so that is a good thing. But you've got an awful lot of coins and you've got an awful lot of wands, which tell me that you know there's a lot of there's there's a lot of influence over your financials and. Um, what you're doing, like what you're actually doing, okay? So we come in with the focal of the temperance card and the five of cups. See what I mean? You've got the temperance card and the five of cups. So something, I think there was something went on here um, which was not a really good choice. And now you may have to deal with whatever the fallout of that is. Or someone, or you may... Whatever this is, it's riddled through your reading, so if it's not you, it's someone in your immediate in your immediate surroundings, okay? Um, and if you look at these two cards in your past, you've got, you know, the knight of, of coins in here, I think in your reading, is reckless. It's someone who's very reckless with money, okay? It's someone who can be actually reckless and thoughtless and... Um, not not in a good way, but if you look at these cards, I mean, look at look at these cards here. This is someone who's really on the they're playing it not really cool here, right? It's someone too who may have some kind of addiction, maybe maybe have some kind of alcohol addiction or um, you know. A vice like that. Okay. All right, let's get into this and we'll figure it out. Someone have, could have recently, too, gotten into something here where there's a large amount of money in play. It may have been, you know, an accident or some kind of mishap or some kind of, you know, fallout in some regard. Okay, that's what you come in with, the Temperance card and the Five of Cups, okay? I have a feeling, too, that this is a long-standing relationship. So it may be a relationship that goes back and forth and back and forth. We're together, we're apart, we're together, we're apart. It could be something like that. But I'm not sure how that would tie into your reputation, you know, on the home front. I think you've got a, a good amount of money coming to you for something, maybe a project that you're working on or something that you're trying to launch, but you're being told to kind of go in that direction. But I can see cards all around here where you're being pulled all over the place. So I can't tell if it's someone in your surroundings that's not happy for you or if it's someone that's in your work arena that's looking to throw you under the bus here. Um, all right. In the past, you've got the Devil card and the Seven of Wands. That's what I mean. You're it's it's someone really, really not helping the cause here. Um, and again, we have no swords in here, so there's no logical thinking. And
All right, I apologize, but this is just, I think that you're, uh, I think that this will level itself out. I think you've got to take the upper hand here. You've got to actually uh, start to trust in yourself here as to what you're doing, because if you don't, I think there's there's consequence in here. Okay, now what you're what you're anchored in here is the knave of of coins and the high priestess. I think you're trying to to do something. I think you're trying to get something off the ground here. And I think with the high priestess, where she's coming in here to tell you that. There's power in silence, so I would choose, because your message coming into is you're not, you're not listening. So you're getting divine guidance, but you're not listening to it, or, or you're not hearing it. But there's, the analogy that I always use, I think it, it sits here well for you, because I'm, I'm a big advocate of get off your cell phone and pay attention to your surroundings and Listen, you can't hear your intuition when you're consistently avoiding it to not hear it. I think that might be what's going on here, too, because your message coming in was they're not whispers. They're not whispers. So but you're choosing, I think, to not really hear what you're supposed to be hearing in here. And the high priestess is 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 in here anchored in your reading to say. There's there's a time to keep things close to your chest and to just observe what's going on around you and not partake in the conversations. Literally, keep your mouth shut and listen to what's going on because you're going to pick up something in here or I wouldn't be getting that that strong. Okay, so there's something going on. and If you don't have wind of this, I would be shocked. So I'm going to say... Um, Be careful of the people you're doing business with and the lines that you're drawing for yourself. Okay, I think they may blur a little bit. I think you've got an overbearing person in your surroundings. Um, so just be aware of that. Okay, now what crowns your reading is the Stark, I'm sorry, the Moon card and the Emperor. I think, again, your message coming in with the dice is that this is going to be something you're going to have to feel out with the senses, meaning you're going to have to pay attention and trust your gut in here. That's what I think this moon, I think the eclipses at the end of uh, January are going to play a role here. You've got the moon crowning your reading with the emperor, right? So... That's a strong message. Faith, hope, ask for this divine guidance. That's, you know, the emperor is just like a normal person. He didn't get where he got by not experiencing the hard knocks, too. So this may be someone who... Um, Again, one of your messages coming in, too, was um, love, love, it was Aphrodite is what it was, sexual relationships, uh, things like that. I think you're getting in over your head here. Or you're pulling someone in. You, you know, it's either you doing this or someone doing this to you. This could be someone, too, that is just, if by chance, if by chance you're in a relationship and someone is, uh, I think you're heading down a bad road here, is all I'm going to say. Because what's coming up for you 
is the Queen of Coins and the Fool. This is a horrid, horrid mistake. And that's what's coming in your near future. So keep that in mind. This Fool, it wouldn't be a good thing for you. All right. This may be a relationship too, maybe your husband, your wife, that you keep going back to and they're not changing. The person has some kind of either sex addiction or they have some kind of gambling problem or they have some kind of alcohol problem. They've got some kind of addiction here. Um, but again, your message coming in was you're not listening. So, um, I think, too, you do have abundance coming in here. I think that you just need to maybe work on your 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 lack of self-worth. I think you don't value yourself enough to get out of this. But I think or this can be something too. there may be money tied to this. It may be a situation where, you know, maybe you can't afford to to do that but but I I do feel in here this is tangible financial gain that you will get so if you're trying to run with a project at work and you're getting slammed on the home front go for it because this would bring literally like fame or fortune to that degree it would bring it in um, if you looked where you're anchored here you've got you've got I mean, he's planting things here. He's planting seeds. This might not be something, or this may be something that you planted a long time ago, and now, you know, you can't leave a situation because it's financially tied to this. All right. Now, how you see things here is the Hierophant and the Nine of Cups. The Hierophant and the Knight of Cups. Maybe it's uh, someone. Don't let someone in a, a place of power, a title on a door. I don't care if it's the Pope himself. Don't let someone overpower you here. I feel very strongly that you feel like you're sitting inside of a shoebox here. You shouldn't be. You've got the Hierophant, though, the High Priestess, the Moon card, the devil card, the fool card, you're riddled with higher arcana cards in here. So this is not something that you're not aware of. But I think that someone may be, I think someone's got a, is on some kind of power trip here. And I feel like they're really manipulating some kind of relationship that you're in. Um, if by chance you're in a crappy relationship and someone's promising you a rose garden it's just be wise about this okay all right now in your environment you've got the justice card and the four of wands so this is affecting um the judgment card and the four of wands this is a good combination um on the home front it would say that you've got security on the home front this is not a good combination in the work arena because it means that someone thinks you're full of it like you're too you're too overconfident so if you're getting cocky on the work front I'm only putting this out here because I can't tell which end of this coin you're at but but if you're if you're getting cocky there you're about to be, someone's really noticing what you're doing. So someone may pull something out of the closet that just takes you right down. So if there's a lot of money on the line here, and I do, I really feel that there's money, like a lot of money on the line here. But it, you're either about to shoot yourself in the foot if you don't start paying attention, or it's about to hit you on the home front, too. Okay, now in your home front, you've got the justice card. That's, you may be about to reap what you're sowing on whatever end of that coin you're on, you know. Um, but I feel there's heartbreak around there. So that's why I say I can't tell where these lines are blurred. 
Um, but I think you're sacrificing something. Um, that's either staying in a relationship that's not working or you're sacrificing your relationship to get ahead on the home, on, on the work front. Um, that's what this would show me. This would absolutely show me that. So, um, let's see here. Okay, now your hopes and fears. You've got the star card and the two of cups. The star card is a destiny card. It's knowing your, your true north, though. Okay, and it's tied up here with the two of cups, which is, you know, it's, it's a faded card. It's a destiny card. It's a reconciliation card. It's a card, though, that if you don't know who you are, you're going in the wrong direction. And it's lined up here with this two of cups, which is telling me it's new. So a two is a new relationship. It's a new business partnership. So, so there's two relationships here. There's, there's two relationships here, which is leading me to believe that you may be mixing business with pleasure and it may not serve you so well. Um, I think this is a mixed bag. I think there's stuff on the home front, um, and I think that there's things on the work or the work front. But you're being asked. You're you're extremely intuitive. You're not so much going to follow the path. So I can't imagine that. Although Aries is in love with love, right? So if someone is but use your intuition here. Use your intuition. Okay. On the outbound now, you've got the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Wands. See what I mean? There's like your the scales are all over the place here. The Ten of Cups in here and the Nine of Wands. I think it's it's I think there's things in here too that are coming up that are, again, ancestral. I think that there are things that we're, we're brought up on, behaviors that we, we, I think there's, or, someone in your sphere, I feel very erratic, erratic behavior, right? Like massive mood swings, um, tempers, arguments, um, I'm going to say here, too, with the emperor that crowns your reading here with the moon card, pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to um, things that you don't think are right. Really pay attention to those. The moon card in here can really just be with the emperor crowning your reading. You already know something is not right here. Um, I think that this is relationship involved, but I also think that it's work involved. So there are two separate areas here. Um, let me clarify a little bit. I wanted to keep these short. I apologize, guys. I just need to see what we're coming in with here. And I really want to see who this Queen of Coins is here. All right, good. You you come in with, I'm clarifying what you come in with, the five of, of cups with the temperance card. You've got the nine of coins, the three of swords, and the four of swords. Be careful. Be careful of these people that say they're, they're your friends. Um, I think you'll come out ahead here. I know Aries is not going to be dragged down the rabbit hole. Um,
If you've got someone in your surroundings that's not well, like I say, and by that I mean I think there's some kind of mental, by that I mean an addiction in, in some regard here, they may, it, it's going to come out if it's not out already, but this, you know, you're really being asked to be careful. Be careful of these people who say that you're, they're your friends. Okay. Now, I want to clarify this queen of coins here. Um, you may have earth in your chart or, or you may have water in your chart somewhere. I'm not going to camp out on signs here. Um, but I want to see what this fool with the queen is here. Okay, you've got the Ace of Coins, the Six of Wands, and the Page of Cups. I think that there are, I think there's mixed, I think there's more than one relationship in here. It doesn't necessarily need to be two romantic relationships, but I think that, that they are. Um, let me see what uh, is in your environment here, your home environment here, because I feel there's heartbreak there. So, so, you know, you may be on the receiving end of all of this, right? It may be something that gets dragged through the, the paper mill, though meaning like all your wares are out there. Okay. Okay. You've got the five of cups. You've got the six of cups and you've got the seven of cups. Five, six, seven of cups on the home front. If someone is asking you for money, be careful. You come in with the Knight of Coins, you've got the Queen of Coins in here. That can be you, meaning like the bank of you. And you've got the five, six, seven of cups confirming your judgment card and the wands. I think, to add insult to injury, I think a new relationship is coming in for you. I think someone, maybe that's, I think someone is admiring you. I, I, they're either admiring you for how you're handling this, or they're just admiring you. But, but to add insult to injury, now you have another admirer here. Um, But don't let that admirer be this person that cleans you out of house and home because that's a good card to have. It's slow and it's steady. It would be like your accountant, right? On a shitty day, he's the accountant for the Sopranos and he would clean you out. So be careful about that. All right. Now, like I say, the judgment card is here with the four of wands, which means that you'll probably come out okay. If you've got something going on in a court, court arena, you should come out okay. Just be very, be very careful. You're, you're divinely guided. They're, they're, they're trying to guide you, but you're not listening. So, so listen. Okay. All right. Let me see here. Um, your hopes and fears. Let me just, I think you're feeling very blah, like very unappreciated, uh, used and abused kind of. So let me define that for you, what the star card with the two of cups is. Plus, that's new. That may be the admirer. Ten of swords, ten of cups, two of cups. <laughs> so you've got the two of cups, clarifying the two of cups. Okay, and you've got the ten of swords and the ten of cups. 
which the Ten of Cups you have on the outbound, too. Okay. I think money's coming to you. I can't tell if it's in a lawsuit. I can't tell if your company is going to pick up. You've got money coming to you, though. But I also think you've got predators around you that are not so above board. So just be very, use your Aries noggin here. You can sense, you know, your bullshit radar is, is, is spot on all the time. So, so pay attention to that, okay? And again, that star card in here is saying you have divine guidance. So ask for help, okay? I think you're going to make choices in here. I think you're going to make wise choices. I think your life is going in a whole new direction. I think, honestly, there's financial gain in here. So if you've been going through something, if someone, if you by chance got into some kind of business uh, arena with someone and they are, you you got into that relationship and now just decided that they they really were going, they were driving the your your company into the ground this is about to turn around if there's if there's legal involved here this is coming your way again when i when i meditated on this i got big time fame and fortune i don't like to use that word because i'm i'm never it can go in many different ways right but but your financials will be okay here just watch people playing with your emotions i think you know people may be playing with your emotions here some sly people that are that are um, doing that. I also think some people have some massive addictions around you. So um, it could be you too, but but either way, um, either way, there's money coming in for you here. There's people trying to take you for a ride here, but I think that you do have people in your surroundings that you can count on, but I think you've also got a handful that are, are not happy for you, right? And that's sometimes due to their own whatever. But but keep in mind, you've got a mixed bag in here. You've just got to clean this out, get through the beginning part of the year, and I, I really think that things will, will be good for you. Like I say, finances are here. This is home front stuff. I really think you've got fourth house, ten house stuff lit up here. So fourth house stuff is the crap that we deal with, usually for the rest of our adult lives, but it's the stuff that... We try to uh, take what we can use and, and relearn new things, right? So this may be, you know, some, some you know, family members trying to pull you in a direction that you're, you're trying to carve out your own path here. So keep going. You'll get where you're going, okay? If you need a private reading, please reach out to me. I think overall this was good. I think you've got some schmoozers in your surroundings, but I think that, that you're, you're going to just... You're, you're, if divine guidance is in here for you, they're aware of what you're doing and they're trying to help you. So just call them in. Under grace and in the right way, help me. Show me what to do. And they will. Okay? So there you go. Thank you so much.